In this video, we're going to focus on the gadamin koch formulation reaction. And this reaction basically converts benzene into benzaldehyde. And the reagents that are part of this reaction include carbon monoxide, hydrochloric acid, aluminum chloride, and copper chloride. And so the end result is that you're replacing a hydrogen atom with an aldehyde functional group, giving you benzaldehyde as the final product. So that's an overview of the gadamin koch formulation reaction. Now, in the first step, carbon monoxide reacts with hydrochloric acid reversibly to produce an unstable acid chloride. This acid chloride is called formal chloride. And then after that, we're going to react it with HCl, I mean not HCl, but aluminum chloride and copper chloride. And so this is going to create this intermediate. This intermediate is called the formal cation. And we're going to use this intermediate to react it with benzene. And we're also going to get uh, AlCl4 minus as a side product. But let's talk about the mechanism for that step. And so this acid chloride reacts with aluminum chloride. giving us this product, which looks like this. So at this point, aluminum has a negative formal charge, and chlorine has a positive formal charge with two lone pairs. And then in the next step, the chlorine atom leaves. And so that gives us this formal cation. And so now we have the reaction between benzene and the formal cation. So this is going to be an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction, where benzene is going to behave as the nucleophile, and the formal cation will behave as the electrophile. So this double bond is going to attack the electrophilic carbon. And so we're going to get this. We're going to add that carbon to this carbon here. And it has a double bond O and a hydrogen. Now there's going to be a positive charge on this carbon. And we still have two of the three double bonds left over. And so now we have this carbocation intermediate which is unstable relative to this aromatic compound. So this step is a slow step. Now what we need to do is regenerate the aromatic ring. And so we need to use a base. And right now, the only other base that's around is AlCl4- or the base could be the solvent, depending on you know what's in the solution. But I'm going to use a generic base for this example. So this base could be this one. So you can replace it with B, but let's use that generic base. The base is going to go for the hydrogen, and then the carbon-hydrogen bond will break, regenerating the pi bond. And so this will give us benzaldehyde as our product. And so the gadamin koch reaction is very useful for converting benzene into benzaldehyde. 